my channel. I know I haven't recorded a video in a while for you guys. Well, it hasn't been a while. It's been a week. And it's only because I broke out. I don't know what I was using, but a bitch broke out. So I don't want to apply anything on my face. So I just, I just didn't do a video because my face was looking a mess. And I was like, okay, I can't be on camera looking like this. And I don't want to try out any products and keep adding to that, you know, adding to the stuff on your face. I'm like, no. So let me get this under control and get back to what I gotta do. So I'm back now, unless something else breaks me out, but let's not think about that. You know, let's not speak that into existence. <laughs> but stick around if you wanna see this review on the Zodiac by ColourPop eyeshadow palette. So I already did partial over my face because I don't want this video to be too long since we are reviewing this palette and doing swatches in this video. So I just wanted to cut some of it short. So the packaging, it came in a box, a small box. It has the Zodiac up there and it has like all these different Zodiac signs, pictures and stuff or whatever, as you can see. There's a cute little box and it has like the name, the different, you know, the Zodiac sign names up there. So it's a cute little box or whatever. So let's just get right into these eyeshadows. So we're just gonna swatch them one by one. They are so, these colors are really shimmery. There's a lot of shimmers in this palette. Um, not very few um, matte colors in here. So let me just swatch the Aquarius. This is the Aquarius. It's a nice blue shade. It's a shimmer. I like this color. This is the Leo. It's kind of similar to the um, the Aquarius though, but it's like a little bit golden, kind of like. You see it? This is the Sagittarius. All my Sagittarius people out there, y'all know y'all got attitude problems. <laughs> So this is the Sagittarius. I didn't get a good swipe. Now this is the matte one. This is the matte one. The Sagittarius is very matte. And it's like a purple, or a purple color. It's like a purple color. Be able to see this right here. This is the Tor um the Taurus. And it's like a brown color. You're not gonna be able to see that. So it's like I can use that probably as a transition color for me. Cause it's blending in with my skin right there. So moving on to the Virgo. The Virgo is a deeper shade. It, it seems like it's a deeper shade of like a brown, brownish black. It's like a brownish black shade right there. That is the, you can't even see what, right there. So that is the, this is the, um, yeah, this is the um, Virgo. That's the Virgo. <laughs> it's like a, um, is the brown that's the brown right there so that's the brown that's the matte color too capricorn right here this is the capricorn and it's like a black color with shimmer like golden shimmers to it so this is the aquarius the aquarius is like a blue matte color it's like a um a sea blue not sea blue but it's like a a, it's like a dark blue kind of like, but it's on the lighter side. I don't know. It's a pretty color though. So, I mean, it's pretty. Now, moving on to the Libra. The Libra is another matte shade. It's, you probably won't be able to see this on my skin tone because it's like a, a, a brown. It's not a brown, but it's like a, um, it seems like it's a rosy kind of shade to me. Oh, it does have like a little, no, it's not. Do I have a shimmer to it? No, it doesn't. I thought I had a shimmer to it. But yeah, this is the Libra. You see, so you can't see it on me because of my skin tone, but it's like a rosy pink color. So that's the Libra. Now, what is this? This is the Gemini. The Gemini is like a gold color. See the Gemini. The Gemini is right here. It's like a gold color, a shimmery color. You can't see it that well on my skin tone. Ugh. Okay, there you go. So it's like a gold color. 
a gold color. You probably can use that as a highlight. They have a lot of shimmers in this palette. This is the Cancer. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have to use this arm because I ran out of space on the other arm. So this is the Cancer. That's the Cancer. You probably really can't see it on my arm because they are blending in with my complexion. But this is the Cancer. It's like a, what kind of color is this? I really can't even say. It, it looked like a, it looked like the Libra shade mixed with gold shimmers. That's what it looked like to me. So the Scorpio, this, the Scorpio, this shade looked like the Sagittarius mixed with shimmers. So this is the, the Scorpio. This is the Scorpio. It's like a shimmery purple color. That's the Scorpio. Now the last color is the Pisces. I love this color right here. Is is like a um, green shimmery color. It looks so pretty. This color is so pretty. I like this color right here. I like this color. It's like a green shimmery color. So those are it. You really can't see. So these are the swatches. Do you see them? So now we have to create a look. And I don't know what I want to use. So what should I use? What colors should I use? Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I think I'm going to go ahead and use the Capricorn since it's my sign. Because... I don't want to be here thinking, contemplating about what to use for a long period of time. So I'm just going to go on and use the Capricorn. But first, the first thing I need to do, I need to do my eyebrows. So I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Down Brow Promade. And the shade, this is the shade Dark Brown. Okay, brows done, brows looking good. You can't get your brows to look perfect because my eyebrows, like this eyebrow right here, this eyebrow be giving me the most trouble. I can do this brow perfectly, but then it's like this eyebrow be fucking up. So, I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I don't got time to be playing with the ass today. So, we're gonna move on. So I just primed under my eyes with the LF Pro Girl Concealer in the shade Cool Tan as my eye primer. So now I'm about to just use this banana powder just to put underneath my eyes. So in case like some fallout happened, I'll be able to just sweep it away. So I'm just going to use this just to place under my eye just in case some fallout do happen. So when that mess up my um my foundation. I'm just gonna place that right there just in case something do fall off the lid. Okay, so I'm gonna go on with this shade. I'm gonna go on with the shade Taurus right here. And I'm just gonna use this as my transition color. So I'm gonna go in with another shade. I'm gonna use the Virgo. So I'm going to use a Virgo shade right here. And I'm just going to put that underneath that transition color. So I'm going to put place that right here. I think. Ooh. Black. Oh. Wow. You don't want to put a lot because, as you can see, a lot came off of this. The Virgo is very pigmented. The Virgo is very pigmented. A lot came off. Like, as you see, that's a... Like, I shouldn't have dipped it in so much. Oh, my God. So, now I'm about to look up a black fucking eye. Lord. So, now I'm about to use the Leo. 
And this is a nice shimmery color. I like this color. You see, I'm taking a lot off. <laughs> so I'm just gonna tap it. And I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do with this color, I'm just gonna place this right here on the lid, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna place it on the lid. So now I'm going to use Capricorn. <laughs> I'm gonna use Capricorn right here. I'm gonna use this just to deepen up the crease. Since I said I was gonna use Capricorn, I think I put too much up here. So I'm gonna use this on the outer of my eye. I hope I know what I'm doing here. So how am I brown going to use this Gemini color right here? I think this might go well with this. It should. Let me see first. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to use the Gemini to highlight my brow. The highest point. You know, you got to put it right there. Yeah. It look cute. I like it. Oh, I like this. This is cute. This is really cute. Okay. Because I didn't know how it was going to turn out. Y'all yeah, know? Because I thought it was going to turn out crazy. Because when I was throwing these things together, they wasn't looking cohesive as I wanted them to be. But let me fix up this eye right here. So for eyeliner, I'm just going to use this liquid eyeliner by MAC. Ugh. Under my eye, I'm going to use just a regular black eyeliner. I'm gonna use this Virgo shade. I'm just taking this brush just to go under my eye with that shade. So I just put on my lashes, and you know, these are some really, they are some, they are some okay eyelashes. I got these eyelashes for, from Walmart. So Walmart, they do be having some, some nice lashes or whatever. So I'm just going to apply my mascara now. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I've been using this a lot lately. It really does give you that volume, you know, that you need. And this is like the one that I got from Sephora in the birthday bag. And I had it ever since. It's like I've been using it. I just started using it like two weeks ago. And I like it. So I might just end up buying the, the regular size. So I'm just going to dust away this SS powder that I have on my face. If I can find this brush. So I'm just going to dust this away off my face. I'm gonna go back in with this dark tan powder, pressed powder by MAC. Just to sweep that away. Oh. So for highlight, I'm gonna go on my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and I'm going to be using Daydream. So I'm gonna use this as my highlight today for this look. Now I'm just about to use this setting spray by ColourPop. And this is my first time using this setting spray, so I'm just gonna use this to set my face. For lip, I'm just gonna use this Ultra Glossy Lip by Shayla Times ColourPop. And this is one of the products that I purchased as well. And I thought it would be really cute because it's something simple, you know? So this is the finish look you guys I created with the Zodiac palette, Kathleen Lights times ColourPop. I do like this palette. The only thing that I don't like about this palette, I would say, is that it doesn't have a lot of matte colors in it. It only has one, two, three, four, 
five. It has five matte colors in this palette, but these shimmers in this palette are popping. Like these shimmers are very nice. I really do like the shimmers in this palette. I really do love this Pisces right here. It's like a greenish shimmery shade as you see y'all see that that shade is the bomb i can see myself creating a look with that i can see myself creating a look with a lot of these shades in this palette so you can create some looks you can create some looks with this palette so i say it's, i say it's okay y'all saw the swatches in the video so i recommend it if you are a shimmery girl and you want some good shimmers, I recommend this palette. It has some good shimmery shades that you can add to your palette collection, eyeshadow palette collection. So that's that. Thanks for watching this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel, please. Cause you already made it to the end of the video. So you might as well just go ahead and subscribe, right? And follow me on Instagram. I am on Instagram, Prince Kaya, same as my YouTube channel. I will be doing a video this week because I did order some things. So keep on the lookout for that. And I will see you in my next video.